Today on the morning news, sentencing arguments will be made this morning for Tammy and Kevin Goforth, convicted of murdering a four-year-old girl. And India bound, another trade mission is in order for our agriculture minister aiming to grow our lentil export market. Live from the Global Regina Studios, the morning news continues. Here is Terry Fakowski. Thanks for joining us. A sentencing hearing is scheduled this morning for the Regina couple convicted of murdering a four-year-old girl in 2012. From the Global Regina Studios, the new news with Whitney Stinson. Good afternoon. Whitney is away. I'm Brandon Gomez. Thanks for clicking in. Flames were pouring out of a home on Garnet Street when fire crews arrived just after 9.30 this morning. The fire marshal says two people were inside when the blaze broke out, a man and a woman. We're learning more about the nature of the Zika virus case in Saskatchewan, but we've also learned of two H1N1 related deaths. First we entered the building, it was nervous, anxious. Back in class, high school students resume their studies in Laloche, but with added support. We welcome them. I do in anyway. Plus, how our indigenous community is welcoming the new Syrian refugees. From the Global Regina Studios, the evening news with Whitney Stinson. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. The first case of Zika virus in the province is raising concern for those traveling abroad. There's now 14 confirmed cases of the virus in Canada, which is suspected of causing birth defects if contracted by pregnant women. This is Focus Saskatchewan. Tonight, the pros and cons of fixed election dates. You know when it's coming, so you can prepare months in advance. The writ hasn't dropped yet, but we're already hearing campaign promises from all parties. And... It's time to, war to move towards a renewable energy future in this province and around the world. How quickly could Saskatchewan transition to green energy if the political will was there to do it? Pretty fast, but it would come at a high price. Here's your host, Whitney Stinson. Good evening and welcome to Focus Saskatchewan. The upcoming provincial election on April 4th is anticipated to be the largest ever held in Saskatchewan's history.